Hey everyone, welcome back for another Exos Heroes episode. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the core raid. But before that, if you have noticed, the scenery for the airship has changed. Okay, so to my surprise, this is actually very good. This is actually better than what they had before. So as you can see, they're on top of the airship already. So basically during your summoning stages, you have this scene. And this is actually better than the inside of the airship, which is pretty much very boring. So kudos to Exos Heroes for, you know, you know, changing this one. Um, I was actually I was uh, pleasantly surprised that they changed this one. So again, let's go to the core raid as promised. So here we are now at the core raid. And the first question that you guys have been asking is, is it now easier? OK. So let's 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 take a look at that question and break it down into beginner and probably advanced players. Obviously, for your advanced players, it would be you know it it would become easier because number one, um, there's a lot of power creep in signature force in how you build your you know your team your heroes, especially for the more advanced players, uh, the whales uh, especially. So basically, for them, it's easier. But for those who are still beginning to start the game, those who just started yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, it would be harder for them. So more or less, this guide is more or less um, going to break down the things that you sh that you should do and you will need to be able to succeed in every core raid that is released. So right now, also, I noticed for this core raid, they have changed the format. So instead of instead of battling the new heroes they are joining you in your team so for for the hard version it's going to be Rio lion um to join the team with your other four heroes so i haven't actually um, um gotten through core rape this is actually my free to play account so more or less i'd like to gauge how difficult really is core raid now versus to what it was before okay and uh, let's move on first to the rewards okay so you have two rewards that you can you know that you can go through so first and foremost let's go to the the the, the core raid pass so the core raid pass is simply accumulating experience as you as you as you're you know as you're completing the conditions for for the items below so so there are six items. So defeat stage one, uh, stage two boss, stage three, purchase basic items, step up reward obtained, and purchase raid items. So these are the things that you should need in order for you to step up also in terms of going through level one to, I think this is level 30, so that you can claim the final reward. Obviously, for those who want to, you know, spend for the game, they will they will be getting a a a fate core ticket for the core raid pass okay so that is it for the core raid pass so again even for free to play players they will be you know they will be able to get a lot of rewards from this and start their journey through exos heroes and our next would be your shop so more or less for the shop um what's good about the shop is as you as you play um, as you play the game, you'll be earning these. Um, these are these are the tokens that you uh, the, uh, the, sorry the, the raid coupons that you will be getting once um, you you do battle from hard. This is from hard up to special and going through extreme. Okay, so you'll be earning them through those battles, and you'll be spending them here. Okay, so more or less. Um, you the good part about this because this is good for free to play as well and also for beginners so you just have to to, to buy all the items to get the step up rewards which is here okay so there are five step up rewards eventually you'll be getting a a a black a, a fake core recruit ticket okay so this is actually good and very you know very valuable in in the game and you'll be able to um purchase basic products up here okay so raid products down here so the main price is fate core recruit ticket so more or less this will cost you 
this will cost you zest in order to reset this but my point is you will be there is an opportunity that you'll be getting uh memory shards for your generals here so um memory shards are you know they're, they they come at random every time this resets so new products in three hours 41 minutes but again you can refresh this right now uh, memory shards go for three and they cost uh, 2400 raid coupons so again this is a good way of farming for memory shards for your generals and i think for this uh for this raid shop for this edition it would be rachel and it would be schmidt for this uh for the generals available for the shards available for those generals okay i know this because i already you know i already finished my 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 core and uh, no, i i finished today's core raid for my main account that is why i was able to get um either schmidt or rachel as generals for their memory shards okay so again you'll be able to farm them here as long as you continuously play the game and as long as you have levy stones okay so let's go back to the core raid so more or less the currency for your core raid for you to play is your levy stones here so some of the players actually don't spend it anywhere they just wait for the core raid and they have spent they have saved a lot of you know a lot of uh, levy stones already and they spend it here for this one, I haven't I haven't played my my what they call this my free to play account that much. That is why it's at four thousand. So we'll spend it all here um, once I have the chance to play this. But before that, I'll show you two sources where you can add more Levi stones to your to your account. Okay, so the first source of Levi stones would be on in your door to creation. Go to craft and you can actually convert these these are actually um earned in your in your um alliance so providing friendship with alliance so you earn these hearts during your uh, as an alliance point every day your alliances give you these and you can exchange these for levy stones as you can see so let's craft them then i'll be getting levy stones okay so another 320 then another source would be your air squadron so for your air squadron in terms of donation you can get levy stones here in terms of the normal donation so you can convert your wing tokens for for wind wing token and you can get actually levy stones from here so again i got 80 so those are your two other sources of levy stones aside from your levy stones um, regenerating each day or every time you stop using them, they regenerate as long as they go below your maximum. So the maximum is 480 for my account. So it goes below 480, it, it regenerates. And you can also uh, purchase levy stones with Zest. That is also a possibility, but I don't recommend this. And those are the ways that you could earn levy stones or you could you know, generate levy stones aside from your counter here okay we'll proceed now to gameplay okay so as for your gameplay um more or less i would what i would recommend if you are a you know if you just started the game you've been playing it for you know a month two months most of your heroes are not yet leveled up or are not you know are not powerful enough to go through hard extreme and special without breaking garden stone so because for my end for my main account I can um, they can already go through this without breaking guard stones. but the key to surviving um, core raids is having your heroes um, leveled up with elemental enhancement so elemental enhancement is actually very important let let me just go back to my main heroes that some of them I'll be using later so if you can see here um, ready a six Annie has 6, Garf has 3, and Aris has 4, and the others have none. So, it's actually very important that you do this in order for you to clear um, the core raid and be able to clear special in the end. Okay, so let's start with the hard. So, more or less, my team right now is um, this one. So, I need... 
I need light, so I have light already. Two light, and I will be needing. I will be needing um, machines. So for machine, I'll be bringing. I'll take. I'll bring. I think I'll bring Deva because she is elementally enhanced four. Okay, so let's go. Let's have a battle for this. Okay, so as we start out now for hard, um, more or less the the Guardian Stones up up are has a question mark because you don't know what the color is. So let's start off with Redly and uh, deal damage. So it's green, the first one. So as the enemy goes back from Unbroken, this will actually change in color. So unless you, you know, were, were able to kill the enemy or, or, or the beast or the creature right in front of you. So more or less, we can... Let's try to, to go through with this. Just attack it. Hard is actually... Not that hard because more or less it's easier to finish. So as you can see, um, although I've had this, you know, although this is a free-to-play account, I've had this for a while already. So more or less for hard, it's not really that hard and you can finish it easily. Okay, let's now proceed to extreme. So let's take a look at, it's the same color actually. So I'll try to bring the same team. As you saw earlier with, uh, with hard, it's pretty much easy to destroy a creature or a beast or a um, a polymus in his dungeon because you've broken him. So that is actually the key to winning moderate and extreme. So again, let's try and break him. Uh, let's try to attack him with Redly, see if he breaks. So again, the first Guardian Stones would be, would be green. So again... Um, uh, elementally enhancing your, you know, your heroes actually plays a big role. It's actually easier, even for, even for what they call this, even for beginners, who, or who, for, or, or for those who have started the game. Um, the only problem uh, with elementally enhancing your heroes is you have to level up your heroes. Actually, you have to level them up to. I think it's level ninety. So let's try to just attack this. We are break four with still green. So if it's still alive and it comes back, the next uh, Guardian Stone will be a different color. Probably either it would be either light or it would be machine. So again, um, the key would be would be Guardian Stone still. So again, um, I don't think this this creature will reach will reach um, its other Guardian Stone. So we'll try to clear this out. So again, um, I think, you know, all in all, I think this became easier. But again, not, it's, it's not really for all. Um, I, I still believe that for beginners, they will struggle with this. Okay, so I had to skip out the other two battles for extreme so that I could go to special. So let's try out the special difficulty with the same team that I have. Okay, so again, um, to start off, I think this is going to be green again. If 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 he's not going to be that tanky, I can actually again, you know, kill him um, with only one Garden Stone break. So again, Redly breaks him with the first with first strike. So more or less, I I don't see this you know this going to be to go to another Garden Stone. So again. Um, if you've built your account well in terms of elemental enhancing your what you call this your your um, heroes you could actually bring bring um, Ulum here and Bathory um, if you have them in your lineup to have an easier time if you don't have strong heroes or heroes with a higher elemental enhance already so again this is going to be over with okay so there you go guys um just cleared it with um, with my free to play account. Obviously, I've 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 used this account for months already. That is why it's actually um, advanced in terms of how I leveled up my heroes already. So if you can see, we we we're, we're done. And let's see. Well, let's take out. Uh, let's take a look at the core raid pass. So you claim this, claim this rewards. 
then you'll be able to claim rewards up there. So not yet, but you can actually grind this, um, grind your hard. We you we have actually four thousand levy stones, so I can actually grind this down and earn more more core raid coupons for for the core raid pass and uh, sorry core raid coupons for the shop so more or less i could actually spend and get these rewards the step up rewards and also if i will be able to see here um garf uh, sorry um schmidt or fc or, or rachel for the memory shards i can actually buy them so right now i can actually purchase already uh, basic items and actually I can purchase here down below So more or less that is it guys for the core raid. So um, I Think my opinion right now the core raid became a little bit, you know, a little bit more easier um, So that actually it could really, you know, cater also to beginners beginners won't really have a hard time um, going through this as long as they do uh, elemental enhancement or they could bring Ulum and Battery so that Ulum can break multiple Guardian Stones. But more or less, in general, the core raid is actually easier. Okay, guys, so that is it for me. So more or less, th those are the tips that I could give you for the core raid. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please write them down below. For those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do around 85 percent of my viewers haven't subscribed yet okay guys thank you for staying always take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out here